My name is Jacqueline Collins and I have diabetes. I learned that setting goals for myself made it easy for me to be in control. Goal setting gave me the push that I needed to live a healthier life. Keep in mind, setting goals is the easy part. The work comes from the follow-up that's the challenge. I feel awesome about my progress. In the last three months, I lowered my morning reading from 125 to 140 to reading between 83 and 85. My goal was set to be between 85 and 90. I also lowered my A1C reading from 7.9. My goal was to have it less than 7. And in my last two months that I had my blood work done with my primary care physician, my reading was 6.7. I reached my goal, but it was a great challenge. Hi, Ms. Jackie. Hi. I'm Kathy Kent. Nice to meet you. And I'm the Chronic Disease Coordinator. And I'm going to go over the program with you today. All right. And get you enrolled and tell you all about it. A letter of consent to participate in the program will be presented to all patients that respond to a letter informing them that they qualify for the program. Upon the first consultation, participants will have opportunities to learn about the program, why they qualified, and ask any questions. Miss Jackie, I am so happy that you responded to the letter that we sent you in the mail so we can get you involved and enrolled in this program. I'm excited too, Kath, and I can't wait to get started. The purpose of the program is to help people with diabetes learn and better manage all aspects of the disease, such as nutrition through diet, exercise, and doctor checkups. Things that can happen from uncontrolled diabetes is blindness. And so we want to make sure that we stay on top of that. After the first consultation and acceptance by the participant, a retinopathy exam will be scheduled to check the patient's retina for any diabetes-related vision problems and or blood vessel issues in the retina. No dye, injections, or medications will be needed for the patient. The patient's eyes will be dilated by being placed in a dark room, and then the patient will look into a camera that will take pictures of the back of their eyes. Appointments will be made to the patient's primary care provider or doctor and the patient's pharmacist as well as a dietitian. When these appointments are complete, the patient will return to receive their electronic tablet and equipment and be trained on how it operates. Blood sugar monitoring is done with the use of a computerized tablet that keeps a record of glucose and other levels of the blood. The records are then automatically loaded to the doctor's office for recommended adjustments for the patient's diabetes management. If there is a concern, such as blood sugar levels being dangerously high, the doctor's office will call with suggestions or instructions. Throughout this process, I kept in mind that if I took control, I would be lowering my chances of having other medical complications, such as heart attack, amputation, strokes, kidney disease, just to name a few. Being in control of diabetes is an awesome feeling. Physically, I feel great. I have a new burst of energy. This program is set to assist us, but each of us must take control and remember, it is our sole responsibility to make sure that we exercise, eat healthy, take our medications as prescribed, and have regular doctor checkups. If you take this head on as I did, you can be like me. I was once a stroke victim patient, but now I'm in control and determined to do all that I can to stay in control of my diabetes.